Sunday stretch and we are about to stretch. So here's what we're going to do to start off with. We're going to stand and we're going to be centered. And as we become centered, we start feeling that weight shift right down. So from the top of your, of your mind, just transfer it right down, just trickling right down to the bottom of the panels of your feet. And how we're gonna do that is take breaths and feel that energy be transferred. So on the top of the head, where it might be feeling a bit cloudy, a bit muggy, we're gonna clear it, we're gonna dissolve it. We're gonna do that by breaths. So, take a deep breath in through the nose, expand that belly, and just feel those lungs fill up. And we're gonna do that for four seconds. And we go, four, three, two, one. And we hold the breath for four, three, two, one. And we let the air go for five, four, three, two, one. And we hold the breath for four, three, two, one. We're gonna practice that again. We're gonna go four in now. We're gonna hold for four. And then we're gonna let the air go for six. And then we're gonna hold it for four. And just be now conscious of the way that it's all dissolving. We're gonna take that breath in one more time. Four seconds, we go in, four. We hold the breath for four. And then we let the air go for seven. Feel the weight just transfer. We hold for four. And then we get back present with the breath. So we breathe in through the nose, expand the belly, become present with the breath. Feel that our upper body now has become lighter and our lower body has been given the responsibility to keep us nice, secure, planted. And through that plantation, we are now gonna grow. And how we do that is we take a deep breath in and we fold at the hips. So we take a deep breath in, it will be your breath that is designed, that is timed, as you run your hands down your thigh, past your knee, down your shin, wherever your breath allows you to go. At the point where you can't breathe in no more, you're gonna to have to pause. And wherever you are, we need to grab hold of your leg, wherever you are, or just place your hands on the floor, wherever you are. And as you're holding that breath, we're gonna let that air go right now. Let that air go right now and let it all go. And then wherever you are, just allow the upper body to fold, allow it to drop so that your lower back is opened up, upper lats open, hamstrings being felt, back of the knee, calf, Achilles, glutes, scan from the lower spine to the upper spine, feel your head, feel that circulation, feel that resolve, feel that dissolve, feel that rush, feel that flow. And from there, we're just gonna let the knees become soft. As the knees become soft, we'll be able to touch the floor if you haven't done so already. And we're gonna get into a squat position. And you should have your hands right in the middle, in the center between your legs and from here one hand is going to stay on the floor the arm is going to be very flush to your bent leg and the opposite hand is going to raise itself up and your body is going to twist as your body twists the arm that is stabilizing you is going to keep you nice and tall nice and strong 
nice and rigid as your leg wants to cave your arm in, but you're not allowing it to because you are having that force of stability, being stable. So being in this position, we're going to take a deep breath in for five seconds. We go in now. We hold the breath. And then we let the air go and the arm comes down with that air. We place the hand next to the other hand. So now both our hands are flat onto the floor. The breath is just normal. Be present with your breath. Take a deep breath in. As we take the deep breath in, the opposite hand is now going to elevate. Your body is going to twist. We're going to open up that torso. We're going to hold that breath for five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to let the air go. As we let the air go, the arm goes down. Your timing, hand comes next to the other hand and you're back in the beginning. So, your foot is gonna trail back. Both feet are gonna trail back and now you're gonna have your knees in place of your feet. Your hands are gonna come closer so they're gonna be beneath your chin. Your knees are gonna spread slightly wider so we go into a frog stretch. Being in that frog stretch, that lower back is gonna naturally curve in. That head is naturally gonna come out. Chin is gonna be elevated up. You're gonna walk your hands further out, have them quite close to each other, really reach out quite far, and then press your palms to the floor, press the floor away, press the ground away, and then we lean back so that our hips are going towards our heels. We have a lovely outer lat stretch. Upper back, just where your back meets the armpits, opening that all up. Drop your head if you haven't done so already. And from there, just release one hand, release one hand, and then go into a little twist, not too deep, just a little twist, where you feel the side of the lats that is stabilizing you. Pop open, tense up, stretch out, feel good. You might be feeling it in the adductor as well. We're gonna place the hand back to the starting position. You are now back into that frog prayer, cat-like stretch. Lean back even more, you'll find out that your body can open up. Raise the opposite hand up, twist the body slightly, Get that exaggerated stretch on the lat that is stabilizing you. Feel the adductor open up. And after three, two, one, replace your hand back. As you replace your hand back, we're gonna sit one more time, sit back. And then what we're gonna do is slide the hands up. So we are back into that frog stretch. You're gonna put your knees closer together. So now we're in the tabletop. You're gonna dig your toes into the ground so that your toes are curling, opening up the balls of the feet. You're then gonna leverage your hips back towards your heels, pushing the ground away, getting a firm stretch, feeling the quadriceps tighten and open. You're then gonna release, go back into the tabletop, slide your hands up towards the knee, dig your toes in the ground, keep them firm, slide your hands up the thigh, dig your toes into the ground, make them firm, and then raise your arms up, make your spine tall, point your fingers to the sky, and if you can, if you want, if you have the confidence, if you're feeling like you can, just lean back. As you lean back, your toes are gonna to give you that stability, the toes that are dug in. Opening up the balls of the feet, just lean back as far as you can, really feeling those hip flexors open up. Try and go back as far as you can. No judgment, it's just you. 
Make your body now tall, so lift your butt from your heels. Bring your hands down all the way. As your hands come down to the side, you're then gonna slide them down the thigh. They're gonna reach the knee. They're gonna reach the floor. You're gonna walk them out, so you're back into the tabletop. At the tabletop, what we're gonna do is take a deep breath in for five seconds. After that five seconds, you will find yourself in a cow stretch. The cow stretch is with the upper back completely rounded, chin tucked in to the chest, and your belly button fused to the spine. So you're working your transverse. So, when you're ready, take a deep breath in for five. And then we're gonna hold that breath for five. You are now in the cow stretch. And then we're gonna let the air go. As we let the air go, it's gonna go out for six, five, four. And as we are now counting down, you are going into a cat stretch. So the chin elevates up. You're gonna hold your breath because six seconds have gone. Your lower back is gonna be curved in. Your shoulders are gonna be pinned back. You're gonna be holding your breath for another three, two, one, and we're gonna repeat the process again. Five seconds in, and we turn it into the cow stretch. We hold the breath for five, and then we let the air go for seven. As we are counting down, you're gonna turn it into a cat stretch. Three, two, one, we're gonna hold the breath for five, And then from there, we're gonna get back into the tabletop. You're gonna slide one of your feet out so they are next to the hand. So your hands are now inside of one foot, whichever foot that is. For me, it's my right, even though it looks like my left. I'm gonna dig my left toe into the ground and I'm gonna elevate my knee. And then as I'm elevating my knee, I'm gonna pivot my body forward so that I'm getting a deeper stretch on the hip flexors, on the adductors and I'm going into what's known as a lizard lunge. My chin is up, my shoulders are pinned back, I've got pressure on my wrists, but that is being alleviated and balanced out by the pressure that I'm placing on my toes. And I'm feeling my outstretched leg being pulled at the hip flexor. I'm feeling my bent leg being stretched at the adductor and on the outer hips. But whatever you are feeling, that's exactly what you should be feeling. So be aware of what you're feeling. Be present with not only your stretch, but be present with your breath. Feel that flow as you take in that breath through the nose. Your belly is rising, expanding the belly, feeling that resolve all over your body, letting the air go, releasing not only the air, but releasing any tension that you might have. If you want to drop your knee, you can drop your knee. And then as you drop your knee, we're going to lift that upper body up. Our fingers are now still on the floor, so now we've got an upright posture with our upper back. And then from there, we're going to release from the floor, I'm gonna put our hand on the knee. As we put our hand on the knee, we're then gonna hip hinge forward. So we're now getting a nice deep hip flexor stretch on the training leg. And while we're there, what we're gonna do is outstretch our arms. We're gonna lace our fingers together. As we lace our fingers together, our palms are facing us. What we're gonna do is then face them out. So the lace, is now drawn out. And then what we're gonna do is elevate the arm, still keeping with that lower body lean. And now we are in the Samson lunge. With a little bit of a twist to the lunge because we are lacing our fingers together. Whereas normally a Samson lunge is with our hands pointing to the sky. This is just adding to the stretch adding to the complexity of what your body is allowed to do, making it very, very 
simple. Simplicity in its complexity. That is what we are striving for and that is what we are achieving. After three, two, one, release the lace, release the lace. And from there, place your hands back to the starting position, right next to that bent leg, right next to that foot planted. You're gonna take a moment to settle, feel your body just resolve from the dissolve. And then that bent leg is gonna join the training leg. It's gonna dig its toe into the ground. You're then gonna bring up the trailing leg that was and bring it to the forward leg and then from here you've got your hands on the inside of that bent leg for me now it's my left leg I'm going to dig my right toe into the ground I'm going to elevate my knee I'm going to pivot tilt forward so I'm getting a nice deeper adductor stretch on my left bent leg and I'm getting a nice deeper hip flexor stretch on the training leg. My chin is gonna go up, my shoulders are gonna be pinned back as much as they can be. I'm just feeling a whole new world of stretch. Whatever you are feeling, do not judge it, it's supposed to be it. However you are feeling, whether you are feeling tight, whether you are feeling open, whether you are feeling comfortable, whether you are feeling uncomfortable, just go with whatever your body is allowing you to go with. And then if you want to become more present, feel that stretch, but join it, marry it with the breath. Take a deep breath in through the nose. We're going to go in five seconds. Five. And then we're going to let the air go for six. We're going to go in for five. And we're going to let it go to six. We're going to allow the knee to drop on the floor. We're going to elevate, leverage our body slightly up so that our fingers are now in contact with the floor. Our chin goes up and then our upper body is going to then go up. We're going to release the fingers from the floor. We're going to be placing our hands on the knee and then we're going to lean forward once again, getting a nice deep Adductor, hip flexor, and for me, my left bent leg, I can feel my glutes tie in with my hamstrings. They're getting stretched as well. And like we did with the opposite side of the body, we're gonna outreach, and then we're gonna lace our fingers together with our palms facing us, and then we're gonna turn our palms away, so our palms are now facing away from us, and the arms are going to elevate themselves up. So your arms should be beside your ears. And now we go into that deep Samson lunge stretch. It's totally your body. So that means it's totally your feel. Whatever you're feeling, embrace it, engage it, be with it, feel it. Feel that open tightness. Feel that mystic, feel that solace, feel that sobriety, feel that release, that freedom. Feel everything in your body just wanting to be. Release your fingers and then elevate your body up slightly so that your spine is tall, your hands go down and then your fingers are reaching the floor. You're gonna hip hinge all the way down until your hands make contact with the floor. Place your palms right back again to the floor. And while we're here, that arm that is now flush to your leg, so my left arm is now flush to my left leg, I'm gonna allow it to stay flush. I'm gonna concentrate on the stability of it. And then I'm gonna release my right arm and I'm gonna twist my torso up so that we go into the T hip open up. Opening up our hips, looking like a T. And we're gonna hold that 
for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna place our hands right back to the beginning again. Slide that foot that was out, bring it back to where it was in the original. And then slide the opposite foot, bring it right to the front again. And because we stretched with that hip opening up on the left side or whatever side you was on, we're gonna do it to the opposite side. So make sure that your arm is really flush to your leg, stabilizing your body. For me, it's my right arm. And then I'm gonna release my left arm. I'm gonna twist my body round. I'm gonna open up my hips, obliques, chest, clavicle, known as a T hip opener. And after seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we're then gonna allow the hand to go down, place it back to its original position, slide the foot back, joining the other knee. So we're back into the tabletop. What we're gonna do now is elevate the knee via you, digging your toes into the ground, gaining stability, going into the floating tabletop. After the floating tabletop, straighten your legs out so we go into the downward facing dog. And then we're gonna walk our feet towards our hands. So we're going to that V folding look of a stretch, holding that position for a moment, feeling the back of the legs just open up their tightness, folding at the knee a little bit, making yourself into a ball, sliding the hands towards the toes, sliding the hands up the foot, sliding the hands up the shin to the knee, and then from there, your body's gonna start straightening up. Your leg is gonna straighten up first. Your hands are still sliding up the thigh now. Release the thigh, and then elevate your arms up. Semicircle them, opposing the upper body, and they're gonna finish pointing to the sky, leaning back, getting that supine stretch, opening up your abdomen, opening up your body, welcoming the morning, welcoming the world, making your Sunday one that is going to be fulfilled, fulfilled with your greatness. As your arms go down now, you're gonna place them on the side of your body, and then we're back to the very, very beginning, where we're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose, it's gonna last for five seconds. We're gonna feel that resolve and we're gonna feel that dissolve. We go in now with the breath, five. And then we hold the breath for five. And then we let the air go for seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we hold the breath for another five, four, three, two, one. And then we repeat the cycle for five. We go in deep breath, feeling that mind clear, feeling that pressure just release. We are now holding the breath because we have gone the five seconds. Hold the breath for another three, two, one. And now take an almighty breath out and make it last for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, feel the tingles, feel the, re the resolve, feel the release. Give yourself another 10 seconds, feel your body, feel the greatness, feel the Sunday flow. Hello, and hello Kimberly. Yes, and that was the Sunday stretch, thanking you.